Ja, door toeval is Follow Dimar Korilenko bij ons in de uitzending live komen spelen. Omdat ik tegen mijn techniker Rob Guffers zei op een gegeven moment van... Hij zei van, Follow Dimar heeft een nieuwe steeds gemaakt. Ik zeg, ja, probeer als eentje te ritselen voor ons. Dat we af en toe eens een nummer van hem kunnen laten horen in het programma Ouderwijs. Nou, het heen en weer gemail was uh, Corina uh, Voldemidaar uh, ermee akkoord dat we dus drie of vier nummertjes van hem zouden gebruiken in de uitzending. Na de hand zegt hij van, nou, weet je wat, het is nog mooier, ik kom ze live spelen. Vandaar dat hij dus uh, vandaag hier bij Ouderwijzer deze nummers heeft gespeeld. En wij zijn er uh, ontzettend trots op dat we met Ouderwijzer voor de eerste keer live muziek hebben laten horen. Maar dan ook meteen gegrepen hebben naar uh, muziek uit het buitenland, uit het verre Oekraïne. Gespeeld door uh, Volodymyr Korilenko. En daar zijn we ontzettend, ontzettend blij mee. Waarom Bayan? En niet een ander instrument. Waarom is jouw liefde voor de Bayan zo groot? Well, there is, there is a definite story in it. Um, I explain during the concerts to people why I started playing this instrument. When I was nine, I was eager to play some instrument. And of course, as a child, you fall in love, I mean, uh, with the instrument that you see. And the very first instrument uh, that I saw was the instrument that my mother played, and that was bandura. And bandura, it's a kind of instrument that you play like this. With many strings, it's national Ukrainian uh, instrument, close to guitar, but it has much more strings. Mm -hmm. You play it like that. And I wanted to play that. Okay, mom says, you play it. Next, then uh, I wanted to play timbali, because I, I saw a man playing it and fell in love with that instrument. But that fin then finally, on stage in our local house of culture, in my little town, I saw Bayan player playing a wonderful piece which is called Lonely Harmonica, and playing it on Bayan so good that I immediately stopped worry, uh, stopped doubting, and I, I said to my mother, that's my final decision, I want to play Bayan. So that was uh, love from the first sight. The music and the, the way he did it, and he impressed me as a child. I'll play uh, another example of uh, typical Ukrainian folk music, and uh, this piece is specially dedicated for your technician, Rob Hoffens, uh, because he likes it very much, I know for sure. The piece is about uh, Kozak singing and telling to folks about his fate, about what he does in life, about Ukrainian Kozak. That's old, old Ukrainian yeah, song. Yeah. You can listen to the music of Volodymyr Kurylenko. One moment you came to Holland yeah. and you started to play in the yes. on the street, yeah. and people said, how is it possible that a man Played so beautiful music, plays on the street. He belongs to the theater. And the people adore you, take you by your hand, became friends, and they help you to buy later on a new BM. That's the reason that you come often to Maastricht. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So uh, I'm already 20 years, since uh, 20 years I'm coming to the Netherlands now and then, twice per year, lately four times per year to play concerts. But in the beginning, seven years of my career here, I've been playing in the streets, true. And then there was, uh, there became a group of people, my fans, and then uh, they realized that Bayan is completely worn out, the old one, and they decided to help to raise money and to buy this very expensive instrument. For yeah. me, as Bayan player, simple. Bayan player, I mean, uh, not being on high stages at that time, it was not possible. Mm. It's very costly, and I'm very privileged amongst my friends to have obtained this kind of instrument. This is really a beast, I call it. Yeah. Because you can go uh, from uh, pianissimo to fortissimo in a split of a second, and uh, people can be blown up. Uh, it can compete with symphonic orchestra. It was... Uh, especially intentionally built so powerful to be able to play with symphonic orchestra there are many pieces yeah. written for that uh, that using without uh, without using any amplification <laughs> 